Good day everyone. So in this video lesson, we will discuss about polynomial function. Especially, uh, how to identify the degree leading coefficient constant term of polynomial function. Okay, what is polynomial function? So ano nga ba yung polynomial function? A polynomial function is a function of the form p of x, so pwede nating uh, isulat as p of x, yung polynomial function natin, is equal to a sub n times x raised to n plus a sub n minus 1 times x raised to n minus 1 plus a sub n minus 2 times x raised, uh, raised to n minus 2 plus up to a sub 1 x plus a sub 0 and this one and your a sub n is not equal to 0. Okay, class. So, yung last lag is, uh, ano natin, constant term. So, ibig sabihin, yung n natin dyan is a non-negative integer, a sub 0 or a sub 1 up to a sub n are real numbers. So, it called coefficients. And then, yung a sub n times x raised to n, so ito yun, Yung unang-una class is the leading term. So, kung ano yung pinakauna sa standard form ng polynomial function natin, ang tawag natin dyan is leading term. And then, yung a sub n natin sa leading term, ang tawag natin is leading coefficient. And then, yung dulo, yung a sub 0 natin, tinatawag natin constant term. Okay. Pwede natin makita o pwede nyo ma makita o isulat, i-write yung polynomial function. So, in this way, so P of X or pwede rin in other notation like F of X or Y. So, pwede rin ganito class. Or, pwede namang ibang letter like for example, G of X, P of uh, M of X. So, basta uh, in other notation, pwede ganito siya. Alright, hindi lang P of X yung makikita natin. So, like for example, meron tayong P of, P of X is equal to 2X cubed plus 5X squared plus 7X minus 5. Pwede rin natin isulat ng ganito. F of X is equal to 2X cubed plus 5X squared plus 7X minus 5. Or, pwede rin ng Y equals 2X cubed plus 5X squared plus 7X minus 5. So, makikita yun nyo ang polynomial function na nakasulat ng ganito. Okay? So, ano pa ba yung dapat nating tandaan kapag polynomial function? Halimbawa, ito. 2x cubed plus 5x squared plus 7x minus 5. So, dapat, yung exponent natin, no, naka-arrange into decreasing power. So, ibig sabihin, so, tingin lagi tayo sa variable, no? Yung variable natin dito is x. So, dapat yung exponent natin naka-arrange in decreasing order. So, ibig sabihin, kung ang pinakamataas na exponent is 3, dapat mauna yung term na may mataas na exponent. And then, 2, 1. So, bakit 1 to? Okay, di ba hindi na natin nilalagay kapag 1 yung exponent and then yung constant term. So, minsan, may makikita kayong polynomial function na nawawala yung exponent niya ay 2. So, minsan ganito na lang. P of x is equal to 2x cubed plus 7x minus 5. Okay lang yon Polynomial function pa rin yun. So, again, para, uh, bag, para masulat natin or ma-write nyo in standard form, dapat yung exponent natin, yung exponent natin ay naka- uh, in decreasing order. Okay, so tingnan lagi yung variable ha. So sa variable tayo tumitingin. Okay, hindi dito sa coefficient natin. Baka ang tingnan nyo yung coefficient. So dapat ang mauna dito ay 5. No, doon sa exponent ng variable natin. So dapat naka-arrange sila in decreasing order. And then, dapat malalaman natin, matatawag lang natin ng isang, uh, yung isang halimbawa is polynomial function kapag Okay, tingnan natin. Yung variable niya dapat walang negative exponent. Okay, so dapat yung exponent natin is whole number lang. So dapat walang negative exponent. And then walang fraction. So yung, ex uh, yung mga variable dapat natin ay walang fraction na exponent. And also, 
dapat wala siya sa loob ng radical sign. Dapat yung variable natin ay wala sa loob ng radical sign. And then, dapat walang variable sa denominator natin. So, kapag ito ay itong mga restriction na to ay di mo nakita, ibig sabihin polynomial function siya. Okay? So, tandaan natin ito. No? Kailangan malalaman lang natin na polynomial function siya kapag ang mga, yung variable natin, so yung exponent niya, dapat walang negative exponent, hindi fraction, hindi rin uh, yung variable natin wala sa loob ng radical sign at wala kang makita dapat na variable sa denominator natin. Okay, so write the given polynomial function in standard form. So sabi ko nga kanina, so like for example, we have f of x is equal to 4x cubed minus 16x minus 4 plus x to the 4 power minus x squared. So paano nga ulit natin uh, ilagay o gawing standard form yung polynomial function natin? So dapat yung exponent niya ay naka-arrange in decreasing order. Okay, dapat naka-arrange in decreasing order. So since isang variable lang naman yung given uh, yung ginamit dito yung x variable x so tingin tayo sa variable x natin okay tingnan yung variable x so diyan makikita natin kung sino yung may pinakamataas na exponent so may ilang term meron tayo 1 2 3 4 5 so limang term meron tayo so ano sino sa limang term ang dapat mauna of course yung may mataas na exponent and that is x to the fourth muna dapat plus 4x cubed, take note ng class yung mga sign, dapat kung anong sign nila uh, kasama rin, okay? Plus 4x cubed, minus x squared, minus 16x, minus 4. So, ito yung standard form ng polynomial function natin na given sa letter, uh, yung binigay sa letter A. So, pag kinuha natin yung standard form nito, dapat ganito siya. Okay? Tandaan, dapat in decreasing order yung a uh, exponent natin. Another, we have y is equal to 1 over 6x to the 4th minus x squared plus 5x to the 5th plus 7x cubed minus 5. So, kapag ganito class, huwag niyong pansinin yung nandito, yung coefficient niya. Kahit mag-fraction yan, mag-decimal, okay lang yan. Huwag niyong papansinin. Ang pansinin nyo, yung exponent natin. Okay? Since dito, gawin nating standard form to, kailangan mauna dyan yung may mataas na exponent. So, ano dapat yung mauna? So, that is 5x to the 5th power plus 1, 6x to the 4th power plus 7x cubed minus x squared minus 5. So, ganun palagi. Tatandaan kapag nag-a-arrange tayo into standard form. Halimbawa naman, binigyan kayo nito. Naka-factored form siya. So, paano natin kunin yung uh, standard form nito? Naka-factored form. So, paano natin kunin yung standard form ng polynomial function? Of course, so, e recall natin yung natutunan natin during grade 8 tayo. So, expand lang natin. So, natutunan nyo gumamit ng FOIL method, ba? So, paano yung FOIL method? So, i-multiply muna natin. First term, ba? 3x times x, that is 3x squared. 3x times 1, that is 3x. 5 times x, that is 5x. 5 times 1, that is 5. And then, i-combine natin yung similar terms nito. So, ito lang naman ang pareho. Kasi pare silang may 1 na, uh, 1 yung exponent nila. Pareho. Okay? So, pagsamahin lang natin. So, copy 3x squared. 3x plus 5x, that is 8x. O, oh, dapat walang equal 0 weight. Mm -hmm. Okay, so ibig sabihin, ganito na siya. Okay, Pag pinagsama natin to, P of X is equal to 3X squared plus 8X plus 5. Okay, another example. So, i-determine natin kung polynomial function ba siya or not. Okay, base sa natutunan nyo kanina sa paano ba natin malalaman na polynomial function. For letter A, okay, may restriction ba? Meron bang a negative exponent? Meron fraction sa exponent? 
na sa loob ba ng radical sign yung variable? May, uh, may variable ba sa denominator? Wala. So, therefore, this is polynomial. Letter B. So, letter B is not. Why? Kasi, class, merong tayong variable sa loob ng radical sign natin. Kaya siya not polynomial. Number 3. Uh, letter C. Yes, hindi rin to polynomial. Bakit? Fraction yung exponent natin. Ayan, o. Oh. So, hindi rin yan pwede. So, not, polyno not a polynomial din yan. For letter D, y is equal to 1 minus 16x squared. Polynomial ba yan or not? Yes, tama po kayo. That is polynomial. Kasi wala namang restriction na uh, mak makita tayo. Walang nasa loob ng radical sign na variable. Wala rin denominator na radical. Uh, yes, na variable. And then wala rin exponent na negative saka fraction. So, polynomial. How about letter E? Yes, na. Tama po kayo. Dahil meron tayong variable sa denominator. Ayan o. Meron tayong mga variable sa denominator. So, hindi ito polynomial. How about this one? Polynomial ba? Not pa din. Not polynomial. So, okay lang na negative to yung mga coefficient natin. Okay lang na magkaroon ng negative. Pero, dapat hindi tayo pwede magkaroon ng negative numbers doon sa exponent natin. Kaya, not a polynomial pa rin siya. Okay? Proceed tayo for example number, ano, this one, so, paano natin ma-determine yung leading term, leading coefficient, and the degree of a polynomial? So, kapag kukunin natin ang mga to, so, ang leading term natin, tingnan natin, kailangan, naka-standard form yung polynomial function natin. Ibig sabihin, naka-arrange dapat from decreasing order yung exponent nila. So, ang leading term natin, kung sino yung may mataas na exponent, yun yung leading term natin. So, base dyan, ang leading term natin is 2x cubed. Okay, kasi nandun yung mataas na. Yung, yung, ito yung term na nandito yung mataas na exponent. So, the answer is 2x cubed. Ang leading coefficient naman, kinukuha natin doon sa leading term natin. So, di ba ang mga tawag dito sa kay 2, 5, 7? Ang tawag natin dyan ay lead uh, coefficient. So, kung kukunin natin yung leading coefficient, so the answer is 2. Okay. So, again, kukunin natin yung leading coefficient doon sa leading term natin. So, ito yon. And then, yung degree. Pag sinabi natin degree of a polynomial function, ibig sabihin class yung pinakamataas na exponent. So, dito sa example na ito, ano yung pinakamataas na exponent? That is 3. Tama po kayo. So, yung degree of polynomial natin dito is 3. And then, yung constant term, ibig sabihin ng constant, constant term, wala siyang kasamang variable. So, alin dito? Okay? So, sa example na ito, alin dyan? Negative 5. Okay. Take note sa sign ha. Negative 5. So, ang constant term natin yung walang kasamang variable. Okay. okay. I'll give you more example. Consider the given polynomial and fill in the table below. Okay. Halimbawa yan. So, yan. Nakapactored form. So, kailangan naka-standard yan. So, kapag ginawa natin standard, that is... F of X is equal to 2X squared plus 16X. So, pwede na natin kunin yung leading term, leading coefficient, degree. And then, dagdag ko dito kung anong klase no, ng polynomial siya. So, ang leading term natin, kung saan yung may mataas na exponent, that is 2X squared. Ang leading coefficient, that is 2. Okay, tingnan natin. And yung degree, ano yung pinakamataas na exponent, that is 2. And then, this type is type of polynomial function, tinatawag natin quadratic. So, kapag ang highest exponent is 2, ang tawag natin dyan is quadratic. Another, f of x is equal to 3x plus 5 times x plus 1. So, naka-factored form, kailangan nyo muna to expand. Okay? Using FOIL method, the answer is 3x squared plus 8x plus 5. So, kapag nakaganito na, madali nang kunin yung leading term, leading coefficient, and degree. So, ano yung leading term natin? That is 3x squared. Leading coefficient. So, dito nang natin kukunin, di ba? Dito natin kukunin. That is 3. The degree, 2. So, quadratic pa rin yan. Okay, for example, number 3, we have y 
is equal to 4x cubed minus 16x minus 4 plus x to the fourth minus x squared. So, sa nakikita nyo, hindi pa nakaayos. So, gawin natin yung standard form yan. So, that is y is equal to x to the fourth plus 4x cubed minus x squared minus 16x minus 4. So, ang gagawin natin, kunin na natin yung leading term and that is x to the fourth. Leading coefficient 1. Since wala tayo dito, so wala kayo nakikita. Kung wala kayo nakikita dyan, ibig sabihin, ang leading coefficient niyan is 1. Okay? O yung coefficient nito is 1. At yung degree of polynomials natin is 4. Kasi 4 yung pinakamatas na exponent. Ang tawag natin dito is quartic. Okay, quartic ang tawag natin dyan. Okay, dito naman, y is equal to a plus 4 times a squared minus 4a plus 16. Okay, during grade 8, tinuruan kayo, di ba? So, madali lang to. Ano to? Sum and difference. Okay. So, kapag uh, in-expand nyo yun at minultiply, the answer is a cubed plus 64. That is, okay? a cubed plus 64. So, anong leading term natin? That is a cubed. Leading coefficient, 1. Kasi wala naman, di ba? So, may 1 siya. At degree of polynomial, 3. So, kapag 3 ang highest exponent, ang tawag natin is cubic. Okay, number 5, y is equal to x squared plus x to the 4th minus 3x to the 6th plus x to the 5th plus 10. So, hindi rin nakaayos, dapat nakaayos in standard form. Okay, and then kunin natin yung leading term, that is negative 3x to the 6th power. And then the leading coefficient is negative 3. And the degree of polynomial is 6. 6 yung pinakamataas. So, kapag ganito, pag more than 6 na, ang tawag na natin dito is... Uh, kapag start ng 6, so yun, hindi na natin ma ganito. So, ang ilagay na natin that is the 6 degree polynomial. Kasi kapag pip na sa uh, pip yung pinakamatas na exponent, ang tawag natin is quintic. Okay? So, yan lamang po. Thank you for watching this video. I hope you learned something. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit the bell button para updated kayo for more video tutorial. This is your guide in learning your math lesson, your WOW Math channel.